Hi guys, Palm at Car Audio and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a long-term project that we've taken on for a very good customer of ours. Yep, that's it, Ferrari F430. You may have seen in our last episode of CAS Unplugged, I did mention this car and um, it's in with us for a few months. The customer's going all out on this Ferrari. Not only is it in for audio, it's in for security, it's in for air, wheels, and the biggest thing, Liberty Walk body kit. Now the customer has left this car with us and he doesn't want to see it until his 30th birthday which is in March 2023. So we have got this car for the next few months, so we will be bringing you monthly updates and just keep showing you how we're getting on with this build. This week, the car's gonna be in the workshop, having the air installed, and also some of the audio components are gonna be going in it this week as well. There's a lovely custom-made sub box that's gonna be housing a jail audio subwoofer that's gonna be mounted in between the uh, two seats. That's gonna be quite cool. In addition to that, I believe we're fit. Hey, Blade! What front speakers are we putting in this? Uh, JL C3s. Oh, yeah, C3s? Yeah, pretty sure. JL Audio C3s up front, and we're also putting in a 10-inch uh, JL... TW3. TW3 subwoofer, all running off a four-channel JL Audio amp as well. Yep. Am I right? Yeah, there you go. Blade does all the audio, so yeah, he knows all the technical info on that, and I'll cover all the air. But for now, I'm going to sign off, and uh, let's get this into the workshop. Guys, this is the standard sub box that was in our Ferrari here that fitted between the seats. Now, obviously, we want to get something a bit more powerful in there, so we're contemplating the JL Audio TW10 sub. This is not our sub box, but we've done a mock up of the shape that we want to fit. So, this will now, if you peek in through the front of the car, I'll drop this in the car. If you're looking from here, so it will sort of fit in into that area there, right between the seats. So the seats are fully functional, they're reclined all the way back. So hopefully, we don't have any clearance issues. So we're in the middle of making up a box, and I'll show you that in just a sec a couple of bits of it and what we've done there. open it up now. Airlift themselves actually don't do uh, any kits for Ferraris um, so uh, all, our next stop is always Prazis. I've used Prazis on a few cars now from classic Mercs, classic BMs 
Um, done a couple of supercars as well. So you've got a box with the two front struts and you've got a box with the two rear struts. Now, if I, I'll just open them up and um, run you through, I'll show you what they look like. Oh yeah. Oh man, look at these. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Wow, front and rear almost look the same. Here we have the Prazis air struts for the 430. Now, just looking at them, always really, really good quality, really well built. Again, I'll just mention that they come with threaded bodies as well, so you can um, have it kind of air out very precisely to where you want it to stop. You just lengthen the shock. Or if you want to run higher pressure, you shorten the shock, so you run higher pressure in the bag. Um, here we have re rebound adjustment here as well. So yeah, there we go. Similar thing on the rear. Again, you've got threaded body, so it's got a bit of adjustment on it there. Uh, airline just compression fit, airline fitting. Again, rebound adjustment as well. So yeah, nice. This is my favorite part. Airlift. Airlift. <coughs> Our number one air suspension brand is always Airlift. Uh, so, just quickly again, I'll run through the management, which I've done in all the videos anyway, but just in case you're new to the channel. Um, Airlift 3H, that's the heart of the system or more commonly known as the manifold. Um, and then obviously you have your uh, controller. Now the Airlift 3P stroke 3H also has a phone app, which, believe it or not, got, I've got it on my phone. There you go. So you can also, you have, you have the option of either using the controller that comes with the system, or you can use the app. Uh, I will add that when the app is open, the controller is actually locked out. It's still on, but it's locked out. Okay, so just bear that in mind as well. Uh, and then over here, this is going on 3H, which means it's gonna have the electronic height sensors. There we go. You basically have one of these on each corner of the car. Um, so this, so this customer is gonna have the best of both worlds. It'll, have, it'll be pressure-based and height-based as well. Now, the reason why we're using height-based on this particular vehicle is that it's going to have a wide body kit, the wheels are going to have fitment and what the height sensors do, you hit your pre, it more accurately will hit presets first time round and hopefully you won't crush his arches. So yeah, very handy. Like I said, you want to keep up to date with this project, keep watching for more episodes coming in the following months, okay? And uh, I better go and do some work now, otherwise I could be here all day talking here. But yeah, catch you, catch you guys in a bit.
So just a little update on the F430 project that we've got in for the next few months. Um, you'll have to excuse the mess because it is work in progress. We have started on the some of the audio install. Now, from what I understand, well, well from what I know, well, no, actually, I can confirm that it's mounted up with um, a JL Audio component kit up front. We've also married that up with a three-channel JL Audio amplifier, which is obviously going to be powering the front components and a subwoofer in the rear. Now, in the next episode, I will go into more depth on part numbers and the product that we've used. Um, so, yeah, keep, keep a lookout for the next episode on that. Uh, there is also going to be a CarPlay um, stereo going in. I think we're going to go for a Pioneer Z70, Z9200. 7200? 9200. Oh, one of the two. Like I said, I'll fill you in on the part numbers in the next episode. But on this episode, I can happily now say... Listen, you know what I always say. Everything looks better lower. That is right. The air suspension is now fully installed and it's fully functional. Let's go check it out. As mentioned before, on this particular vehicle, it's had airlift 3H management and we've used Prazis air struts on this. Why Prazis? Because I've used Prazis on a few cars before and they've proven to work every time. Really good build quality and from a reliability point of view, spot on. I'm just waiting for the purists to leave dirty comments down below. But listen, any comment is always a good comment. Because the wheels are not here yet, they should be arriving at the end of November. And once the wheels arrive, the car will be going over to Colourcraft to have the uh, Liberty Walk body kit fitted. And at that point, when we get the car back, we will at that point fine tune the drive height and the drop height according to how the wheels sit with the kit. So the uh, air install is all going to be in the, what we call the frunk. Let me just show you where we're at with that so far. There we go. So... Yeah, as mentioned before, all the air ride components are going to be in a, in a nice, tidy little build. We've got the compressor mounted here, the uh, airlift manifold, and um, we're actually going to be using a flow tank on this just to finish it off really nicely. And the flow tank is going to have a bit of colour on it, which will be revealed obviously right at the end. I've been out for a blast in it, and I'll tell you what, it dr drives so much better than stock. Sorry to the purists once again. But, you know, it's a customer's car and the customer will get what he wants. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing that everyone's waiting to see it aired out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it laid out, eh? So I've just paired up the uh, Airlift 3H to my phone. Don't forget, Airlift does come with a uh, Bluetooth app, which means you can control your uh, air suspension from your phone as well as on the controller. Just one point to add, when your uh, app is open, it does actually lock the controller as well, so no one in the car can mess around with your ride heights as you're driving around, so. But anyway, if you have a look over here, Well, I'm waiting for those uh, comments from the purists to come in down below. <laughs> uh, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think and what you think of the slammed look on a Ferrari. I think it looks absolutely great. As I mentioned, the next update that I'll come back to you with is going to be the update on the audio install. And I'll give you part numbers and model numbers of all the equipment that we've used. And we'll go through the build process as well. But until the next episode, keep your eyes out for this. and. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share and subscribe to carry on watching all of our awesome content. Guys, I'm going to sign off for now and I'll see you next time. <laughs>